Hi, Brian McCordy here with Black Belt Lean Thinking, and I'm excited to bring you today's topic because this is something that if you employ it, I guarantee it'll supercharge your lean manufacturing, continuous improvement, safety programs. So this was uh, one of the biggest enablers for some of the sites that I've seen that have really taken off with lean manufacturing. Okay, are you ready? Three words, self-directed teams. If you don't have a team structure, a formalized team structure, you're really missing out and you're losing a lot of opportunity. We are social beings and we tend to work better in a group. If you don't have a formal structure, I guarantee you have an informal one. We call these cliques. Again, like-minded people tend to get together and they work better that way. We always do better as a group. Um, one of the uh, activities I used to use in, in classes to demonstrate this was something I called the mystery box. I had a box that I would set on a table and inside that box were 20 items. I'd have people come up one by one and give them 60 seconds to memorize as many items as they could inside that box. Typically I found out people were good for about 10 to maybe 14 items on average. When they exhausted you know, their mental powers and written down all the things they, they could remember, I would have them work with other people on, in the table, compare notes. Now rarely uh, I think in the you know, uh, seven or so years that I was teaching that class, I had maybe one or two individuals get all 20 items. But when I had them work as a group, I never had uh, a group not get all 20 items. Again, we do far better as a group than as individuals. Matter of fact, when I was introduced to lean manufacturing and continuous improvement is back in 1997 with the company I was working with. And they put us through three weeks of training, uh, Tremendous training. I was very impressed with the group that did it, and we saw the benefit of it on the floor as a mechanic at the time. Uh, unfortunately, management didn't support it, and within a year it was gone. I think we kept a lot of the tools in my department, like 5S Plus One, because it made our lives better, which is the whole point of continuous improvement. Again, it is an enabler for everyone to drive improvements, and, and we saw the benefit of that. Okay, now going down the road to about 2005, same company started to embrace lean again. They brought in experts, but they made one significant change. They put everyone on a self-directed work team. So everyone in the organization, again, we have kind of a model of a typical organization here, and it can be, again, a construction site, a restaurant, a hospital, manufacturing, whatever. You've got your frontline people that do the work, again, the tip of the spear, the ones that get it done. Then as you go up to, through the organization, you have fewer people with greater authority. Okay. We need to push down that decision making and control to where the people that do the work, that see the issues, know the problems, can work together as a group and come up with solid solutions. If these people are always working as just individuals, you know, poor Bob here has a good idea. Oh, the blue one never seems to work good for me. So we got Bob here has an idea, and he pitches it on management, and he could easily be shy down because it's just Bob, and sometimes Bob has ideas. But Bob gets together with, say, Tina and, you know, someone else from the team. Now, as a group, they have an idea. They have a much better chance of selling it on management. Again, working together, they can be sounding boards for each other. There are three things that can really supercharge your teams. So again, for the whole facility, if you want to supercharge it, is put team structure in place. Now, to enable and help those people on those teams, the three things they need, they really need to have good team meetings, again, um, formatted, good solid agenda set up and someone facilitating so that they don't turn into gripe sessions, but a structured meeting that they follow, a team board, team board where all the communication that they need is right there, something they can look at that's close to their work area and they can review daily with those key performance indicators on it, those maybe top three things that they need to uh, be looking at and keeping an eye on. Again, those are based off your Hoshin. The last thing is standardized work. As a group, when they identify an improvement and again it is supported, then you need to standardize it. Otherwise, with time, it'll go away again. You don't want to keep re slaying the same dragon. So these people need to be empowered. So your team structure, 
Again, you can set this up by departments. Again, maybe if it's a restaurant, your kitchen staff is one team. The waiting staff is one team. But again, they need to have some commonality to where you know, they all feel the same pain for certain problems they're dealing with. And again, for a waiter, it's going to be different from what would be for a cook. So again, they need that commonality. Manufacturing floor it might be by lines or departments. A construction site, again, by activities, whatever. But have them to where they are part of a team, part of a group. Again, they can be use each other's sounding boards. Again, think of that mystery box, you know, where uh, one person has a part of the solution. Working together, they can come up with the rest of the solution and really drive tremendous improvements. Remember, Lean is about empowering these people. So at the top, management needs to support them and relinquish control. Imagine if this were a basketball team. We got our five players, and every time they wanted to do something on the court, they had to stop and ask permission. Yeah, it would be an interesting game to watch. If you had one team acting that way and the other team not, I could probably tell you what the outcome would be like. But they need control. So that's that self-directed part. What management needs to do is give them parameters and targets and cut them loose. Again, if they, uh, we're, we're used to managing our, our homes, right? We're used to calling the shots. Most people do not like being told what to do. What we would rather have happen is management tell us what the problem is, what the main goals are, and give us the opportunity to solve the problems ourselves. Again, they're feeling the pain too, and there needs to be some assumptions. If an employee is working you know, in an environment for a company, they want to do a good job. Again, they invest 8 to 12 hours or whatever their time every day, They've got friends, uh, again, either via the click or, you know, team members that they work with. So they want to see improvement. So, again, management needs to support that. You know, help enable them, give them parameters, but that self-directed, uh, the self-directed team is very important. Give them that, that hotion. What is that main thing? You know, if you think of that movie, The City Slickers, where Jack Palance's old grizzled, you know, cowboy, talked about that one thing. What's that one thing? That's your hotion. A parallel thing that always needs to be with there is safety. Again, you always have to promote really safety as number one. Otherwise, your, your hotion can override it and people will take risks. So that being said, what is that one thing? You know, again, it doesn't override safety, but is it, you know, taking care of shrinkage like in manufacturing you know, to lower costs? or you know, production, maybe if it's a restaurant, it's to have the best steaks in town. But making sure everyone knows what that is. Again, if I were visiting that site, I should be able to walk up to any person and go, what's the most important goal right now for this manufacturing site, this construction site, whatever. And each person should give me the same answer. That tells me that Hoshin's been established. Their team board should represent those KPIs. Again, what are those main measurables what are the time frames set with them, and where are we at in that? So all those are there. Again, now you've got a power of you know several people working together rather than one. And as I mentioned before, if Bob has an idea and he can sell it to his team, that's that first filter. Now someone up at higher management, if they hear, well, it's Bob's idea, or, oh, it's this team or this department's idea, that gives it a lot more credibility. So, again, a much better chance of filtering for good ideas and moving forward. We're social creatures. We like working as a group. That's one of the reasons that we get married. Again, most experiences are better when they are shared. And my significant other brings me a lot of the joy that I experience in life. I have a lot more fun when I'm doing something with Michelle, going to a movie, dinner, whatever, versus doing it on my own. So, again, that camaraderie. You want to foster a team environment, self-directed work teams. Again, if you have your host in and you've done policy deployment where every level knows what their goals are, then why wouldn't you enable those people to work together to use the lean tools to drive the improvements that they know they can make? And when you go home knowing that you made improvements, it's a great feeling. And to know that because of the environment that you work in, that you keep uncovering problems and you know what, six months from now, I'll be working in a better environment than I am today. And I wouldn't want to go back to the way it was six months ago. That's that continuous improvement. 
Everything is either green and growing or dry and dying. We're either having success or slowly having failure. So enable the team. Okay, back off my soapbox. That's my spiel on uh, self-directed work teams. Again, uh, powerful stuff. Uh, almost every individual would rather work with a group, you know, someone else rather than be alone. Even superheroes, who's going to argue with the Avengers? If Thor needs to work with a team, there's probably a good reason for that. Okay, my website, Black Belt Lean Thinking. Give us some thought. If you're not using self-directed work teams, self-directed teams, then give it a shot. If you have questions on it, again, I can be contacted through my website. Again, Black Belt Lean Thinking. Thank you.